Any imaging device has its own pros and cons. Let's understand some in smartphone imaging of retina. First and foremost will be the quality of image captured depends on smartphone camera quality. Here you can see same retinal disease of same eye captured using Moto G2 and iPhone 5S. Both has 8 megapixel camera. The contrast and clarity is better in image captured using iPhone. But need to understand in Moto G2 smartphone captured image most of the disease pathology is visible and imaging in higher end smartphone is easier due to better auto focusing feature. Yes, you can image in a 4mm or 5mm dilated pupil by using smartphone but it's possible only in iPhone as the flash and camera are placed more coaxially. Imaging is easiest in fake well dilated pupil eyes. Two white dot reflection in the center of image are Purkinje reflection from 20 diopter lens surface and black semicircular shadow on one side is due to non coaxial placement of flash and camera will be there in all images. Imaging is possible in dense nuclear sclerosis cataract with hazy retinal details and better contrast images in pseudophakia. There can be difficulty in imaging in pseudophakia due to reflection from IUL or its edges. These limitations are for any imaging device. The principle of smartphone imaging of retina is based on indirect ophthalmoscopy. So the field of retina imaged depends on the refractive error of the patient. You can note here in high myopia the field of retina captured is more than in hypermetropia. In high hypermetropia, imaging is difficult compared to myopia. Dust particles and fingerprint on 20 diopter lens make autofocus to focus on it result in difficulty and poor quality imaging. Retina images captured using Moto G24 is almost at par with branded fundus camera images. And definitely higher end phones gives best results. Coming to app, Ulman Indirect iPhone app is for retina imaging. It has features like light intensity and exposure control, 180 degree rotation to auto correct laterally reversed and inverted images, burst photo mode, video mode, auto focus and manual focus mode. For Android users, camera FV5 app will be the choice. Jace Reticam is an adapter where 20 adapter lens is placed on one side, smartphone on another, can be used handheld for imaging retina. Basically designed to mount on slit lamp for better, easy and stable imaging of retina. All the images and videos used in this presentation are captured using Jace Reticam with Moto G2 or iPhone 5S. Take printout, share or store electronically. Educate patient about disease, disease course recording, teleophthalmology are some of the advantage we need to explore. Happy smartphone imaging of eye. Thank you.